Hello everyone, welcome to Recursive Gaming. In this video I'm going to be showing you some progress that I'm making with my current team. I want to show you what it's like fighting uh, these battles when you're under CP. I'm not severely under CP, only about 6,000, but that being said, uh, it's not easy and you do have to do manual play. I know that there's lots of videos uploaded of this progress, but I just wanted to share with you guys what my team looks like and how I play if you want um, a little bit more detail into somebody else and how they play that encounter. That being said, we're going to be showing you all four of these fights, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, here we go. So as you probably know from other videos, Gullahan helps with burn resistance. Karen also has resistance for the entire party. Um, Rachel is mainly just there for DPS. And then Lynn is there for her suppression ability, which will help when the boss does his ultimate. So, I am switching my gear around to do this fight. Come on. Oh, Karen did not respond. I tried to get Karen out of that, but she didn't respond. So, um, One of the main things to keep an eye... Oh, I should have kept the team back from that. Alright. Camera angles can be fun to deal with. Alright, so... Uh, I tried to get Karen out of that AoE that I saw coming, but she didn't respond. Okay, so this... A bunch of stuff's going to start showing up. So, um, as you get higher in difficulty, these explosions don't give you as much time to get out of them. Okay, so, as I was going to say, yikes, ouch. Okay, went ahead and used my pet heal. Come on, come on, get out of that, get out of that. Alright, come on, guys, everybody. Let's get this guy taken care of. Only 35% left. Aw, oh, somebody else took the aggro. He's probably on either Rachel or Lynn. And I don't have a pet heal anymore, so... And here we go, waiting for that cast to come up. Alright, so, got some free damage in on him. I uh, went ahead and used the suppression ability. Boom! Okay, so he's going to go down here. Nice. Nice and easy. Alright, moving on to the next one. Alright guys, so I am in the second raid right now, and this is the third time I've died trying to do this. I got him down to 42% that time, but as you can see, being under CP and not having paralysis resistance is making this very difficult. As I said before in a previous video, paralysis or uh, you know, any resistance in these raids that's recommended is kind of a necessity to bring along. I'd be having a much easier time if I had Satis Tinnery with his paralysis resistance in this fight. So let's try it one more time. See if we can actually do it this time. But having to work way too hard and having to do everything perfectly uh, just to complete this. And I'm only 6,000 or 5,300 CP under. Yeah, It's a fun game, but you really got to do things correctly. Come here. Oh, well, at least he aggroed the right person. Come here. Nope, nope, everyone come away. Um, So... For camera angles, to make this manual play a little easier, I suggest the last cam camera angle, number five, uh, and just really learning how to operate the camera. But it's not auto-adjusting itself, okay? So I actually find that a little easier to deal with than when the camera moves itself around. Okay, oh, come here. Ooh, that was close. I don't know why Rachel's going to the back of the target. She doesn't normally do that. That's a Shane thing. Nope, nope. Oh, Karen got hit. Okay. And Karen's almost dead. I had to pop the pet heal a little early. Hopefully that doesn't result in actually losing this. Alright, good. Alright, so this is when you do the most damage to the boss. That suppression ability locks him down for quite a while. Gives everyone a chance to get off their ultimates. Like, here's Yonhi's ultimate. It's going to do a lot of damage. Look at his health go down. Excellent. That being said, we're going to come to the difficult part of the fight now. There's Rudy's ultimate. 20,000 from Rudy's ultimate. That's a pretty good hit. Alright, so everyone's stunned and getting hurt. That's not good. There's the heal from... Alright, so I think I resisted his paralysis just now on Rudy. 
That's really lucky. Alright, come on. Everybody, come here. Hurry up, get out, get out, get out. You just never know if they're going to make it in time. Barely survived that one, too. Okay, well, lost track of him. He's over there. Okay. Good. This is actually really lucky for me. He could have done... I, I think when he uses that ability, the ultimate, it's kind of random. He does it whenever he feels like... If you get it more than once in a fight and get a chance to get off the suppression ability, it's free damage. Really big. Really big help. So it looks like we're going to win because that worked out. But yeah. Uh, fourth... No, fifth try. Fifth try on this boss. Finally got it. And uh, we're only mid-tier difficulty, guys. We're not even doing the hard stuff yet, so... As you can see, taking the right heroes along with their resistance abilities, even in this guy, it really does make a difference. So. Alright, next one. Here we go. Alright guys, here we go in raid boss number 3. We've got resistance from Karen, we've got the poison resistance from Ian coming along, and the suppression ability from Rachel. I'm taking Rudy as the main tank. Um, and because Rudy does a buff where he increases everyone's block chance, then I'm also taking the pet that gives me increased block chance. I feel like it synergizes well with that buff better than the just 5% damage decrease from the other pet that I was using. So this is the team. Let's go ahead and get started. This is the first try on the higher difficulty with this current team. Uh, as you saw in the previous boss, Paralysis Resistance uh, made a big difference. So we're going to see how much of a difference it means uh, having everyone I'm supposed to in this fight. Okay, so, okay. Let's get out of that. Don't want to take all that damage. And... Okay. Trying to wait for him to get out of that poison pool. Haven't given them a chance to be on auto. Okay. And that didn't work well. We're going to have to use the pet buff way too soon. Don't want the team to be taking all that damage. Oh, he's going on Karen? Of course. Immediately did not aggro on the right person. Okay, so now he's going on Ian. This guy's going to be a problem to me. Okay. At least I'm running two healers. This is why I brought Karen and Ian. I thought this guy might be a problem. Okay, so he's going to do AoE against the whole team. If I remember right, this guy does have a lot more AoE. And so having double healers, or at least a support and a healer, is really good to take in this fight. Okay. Everyone takes more damage in this fight than in some of the other fights. So, great. That's a whole lot of damage. And the pet heal is on cooldown right now. So I have to just run around, bring him out of that poison pool. He's going to sit it as long as he possibly can. Oh! Come on. Man, this fight. Yeah. This fight was crazy. Oh my word, so much repositioning. A lot of manual play in this. Alright, let's come over here. Everyone's healthy though, at least. Oh, he did not aggro on the right person. Who is he on? Oh no, now he's on the tank. Okay, thankfully. Having to switch um, between the characters you're controlling all the time. And make sure that he's not hitting the whole team as much as possible. Okay, well, it's alright. Rudy does have my best tank set on, so he's going to be okay. Come on. Come on. And, okay, we're going to run that. Oh, not enough. Lost somebody. It's alright, she's going to bring him back. Thankfully, I have Karen. Really nice right now. Okay. 49%. I need him to use his ultimate ability so I can suppress. That's going to make a big difference. Okay, don't know who he's on, but it's not on the tank. Alright, come here, everybody. Alright, let's try to take as little damage as possible. Alright, I think that uh, poison resistance is coming in big time handy here. As much as I'm getting hit on the whole team without that poison resistance and the resistance from Karen, I would likely... Where'd he go? Oh my goodness, can't even see him. He would likely be uh, absolutely demolishing my team with the poison. Okay, double healers coming in clutch. There we go, finally. Waited. Waited until close to the end. And then we're going to suppress and do a lot of damage, hopefully. There's Rachel's ult coming out soon. And excellent. Do that damage, Rachel. Come on, use your ult. Here we go. And boom. Okay. 
Not quite good enough. Come on, everybody, get out of the poison. He's only got 5% left. I was thinking he'd be dead. But one suppression ability is not good enough to kill him, it looks like. Okay, come on. I could have just let him finish him off. He's only at 1%, but don't want to take any chances. There we go. We got him. Wow, look how much damage Rachel did. Definitely carried the team there. Alright, that's it for that one. Let's move on to the next. Alright guys, here we are in uh, raid number 4. Not running the freeze resistance from Royal Blood Adele in this one. Or Adele, not sure how to pronounce his name. But I've got a little bit of resistance from Karen. And then I've got DPS from Rachel. And then DPS from Shane. I have to bring Shane in this fight for her suppression ability. I was going to take care of that imprisonment suppression. Uh, once again, running Rudy and the pet block chance. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. This is my second time doing this. I forgot to switch out Yonhi for Shane the first time I tried this. And... Here we go, come on. Aw, oh, man. Oh, come here, everybody. Come on, quick. Oh, I guess he was frozen. Alright. Come on. Excellent. I timed that pet heal really well. Excellent. Here we go. Finally, the positioning went okay. Just been frozen. And he dashed away. Let's see if he aggroes on one of my teammates. Waiting a little bit, and then triggering that suppression ability from Shane. Excellent. There's uh, the ultimate from Rachel doing quite a bit of damage. The burn has been stacked. It's doing 4,669 damage. There's Shane doing some good DPS. He's down to 40% already. Unfortunately, he aggroed on somebody else instead of the tank. And they're both frozen now. Yeah, that's not doing too well. Alright, Essence of Cold. I think we need to start running around. If I remember right. Oh no, it's these. Okay, so yeah. These things. Come on, come here. There we go. Hopefully they're doing some AoE damage. Oh good. Somebody took it out. Alright, Crosstail. Try not to get hit by these things. Come on. Nope, nope. I thought for sure we'd be able to attack there, but not quite yet. Nope, here we go. Lots of repositioning. He's down to 17%, so we're almost there, guys. He's got to be patient sometimes. Alright, big hit, but I think we'll be alright. Maybe I spoke too soon. No, he aggroed on somebody. That's not me. Again, probably Rachel, it looks like. Alright, we're at 5%. 3, 2... One, and I'm not going to move. We got him. Excellent. Good try. Um, as I said the first time, I forgot to take Sheen with her suppression ability in. When he used his ultimate, it just one hit my whole team from full health to dead. So definitely got to bring the right suppression ability for the fights in order to win. Anyways, that's it for the last raid. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it helps somebody out. I'll see you in the next one.